we're going to have a shave with a new safety razor and a new shaving brush, courtesy of the folks at Pearl Shaving. And that's coming up next. <music> Hi, YouTubers and watch savers everywhere. It's MarketGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have two new pieces of shaving gear in the shaving den today. Really excited to show you these items from the folks at Pearl Shaving. So my thanks to the folks at Pearl Shaving for sending along these items. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, if you happen to catch the January 30th episode of the Monday Morning Mailbag, uh, I introduced you to three pieces of wet shaving gear from the folks at Pearl Shaving. They sent along two shaving brushes and also a really beautiful safety razor. We're going to use the safety razor and one of the brushes for this shave today. The uh, safety razor is the Pearl Classic Safety Razor. Uh, this is an antique brass safety razor. It's the SHD-24. I'll link directly to their website where you can see this. It comes in a sleeve box. Very nice packaging. Makes a great gift. Inside, they also have a, uh, a shaving guide, which is very, very instructive, especially if you're a beginner wet shaver. So it's a very, very nice piece of information to have along there. And there is the razor right there. It's antique brass, and it also has a zinc alloy razor head in the same color scheme, same antique brass color scheme. Ah, uh, there it is right now, isn't it? There it is right there. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Wow, that is really, really good looking. I love this handle. This handle has a series of flats, uh, is the way I describe it. Very, very ornate, but also very, very functional. Seems to just really afford a terrific, terrific grip. Uh, and again, the brass, from what they say on the product page, solid brass, and the razor head is a zinc alloy plated, uh, brass plated, so to speak, uh, razor head. And it is in Edwin, it is in the Edwin Jagger tradition, uh, style. Uh, so that's what we have there. Now, it also comes with a microfiber polishing cloth right here. I won't take that out. And it also comes with 10 of the Gentleman razor blades. And we're going to go ahead and use one of these razor blades in this razor. Now, before we load that up, I want to show you the shaving brush that we'll be using. This is a synthetic shaving brush from Pearl Shaving. It has a, uh, an imitation badger type of knot. It's a 24 millimeter knot. The knot is taller or longer than the handle. So that'll probably give a little bit of a, little bit of a difference in uh, handling and performance perhaps. Really looking forward to using this. We're gonna go ahead and just soak that in the water right there. My shave soap is going to be Seaforth Sea Spice Lime. I haven't used this one in a long, long time. Really looking forward to using this. Love, love, love this scent. We're also going to finish it off with an Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. We're going to use some of the Seaforth Sea Spice Lime aftershave. And for upstairs, from the folks at Sterling, we're going to use the Lemon Chill. So we'll get a little, a little bit of a lemon lime vibe going on there. We're also going to kick it off with a, a different kind of pre-shave. We're going to use the Prickly Pear Star Jelly Pre-Shave from Phoenix Shaving. Haven't used this one in, uh, oh, I don't know, in a few shaves. Kind of mix it up. Usually I like to start with the Cube 2.0. This time we're just going to wet the face and just apply this pre-shave. After we build the lather, now let me get the brush out of the way because I am going to throw some hot water in the sink. I'm using the Shave Nation Lathering Bowl. It has that little bit of a pocket where I have some of the soap already in there in the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of hot water in there just to kind of get things going and heat things up. Let me set that down right over there. Let's put the brush back in, let it soak a little more. And let's go ahead and uh, move some of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> kind of clear the deck. I'm going to get the soap puck and the uh, box out of the way there. Let's open up these 
razor blades right here. Oh, before I forget, we're also going to kick it off with a hot towel. Yeah, I am definitely going to have a hot towel, but we're going to build a ladder first. That's what we're going to do. We're going to build a ladder first, and then we're going to have a nice hot towel. Then we're going to have a uh, pre-shave, coat the lather, and then uh, coat the face, you know, lather the face, apply the lather is what I mean to say. And then uh, we're going to, you know, jump right in with this razor and have a nice shave. And I'm expecting really, really good results from this razor because I reviewed both the Pearl Flexi and the Pearl Blaze. And those are really, really terrific, terrific uh, razors. Now, let me just set that there. There is no buffering being used here. I'm just going to use it without a buffering right now. And we'll determine whether down the road we need a buffering for this or not. So here is the Gentleman Razor Blade. These are nice blades. And we're going to put that right in there like that. All right. Let's get the uh, base plate and set that on top like that. That seems to fit very, very well. The fit and finish on this seems to be very, very good. Here is the uh, the handle. The end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the razor head. You can barely, barely, I mean, barely feel them. So for all practical purposes, they are enclosed. I'm going to snug that up really, really well. And the blade balance and alignment appear to be spot on. How about that? Yeah, love the look of this handle. And I'm anticipating a lot of good functionality grippiness, that sort of thing from it because of the way it's designed here with these beautiful flats. Again, really just uh, very ornate. The light just dances off of those flats there, but it also has a great deal of function. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's take this water here and dump it in there and let's get this brush. Let's wring that out a little bit and let's see how this how this works in building a lather. Let's see how this brush does. And of course, the, um, the Shave Nation lathering bowl allows you to build a lather on the sides there, and you can go right down into that puck, puck, go right down into that pocket where the soap sits, and really, really just continue to grab it and build that lather up, which is what we're doing right here. And it just seems to be starting to build that lather. And I love this. I love this scent. This spear, this spearhead, the sea spice lime is just absolutely marvelous. Okay. That seems to start to build a lather. I'm going to need a little more water here. We're going to go ahead and dip that in. The handling of this brush is different from some of the others that I have used. It's making a lather. But this longer knot, the, the handling of it does feel different. It seems to be responding. It's really starting to make a nice, nice lather. So let's just grab some more there and just continue to build it. I'm going to hold it right here like this because that uh, is a little more of an advantage to me because I can see what I'm doing here a little more and the lather won't be falling out of the uh, the bowl. And I'm going to get a little I'm going to get a little more I'm going to get a little more water here. Okay. Actually, I really dipped it in. I really, I really, oh yeah. I needed, I needed water. I'm trying to gauge the water to soap ratio and also look at that now. And how this brush is going to re add, re oh yeah, that's terrific. It seems that the longer bristles really, really aid in generating a lot of nice lather there. And again, I'm just going to get a little more water, but you know what? I'm not getting, I'm not dipping in for a little bit of water. I'm being a little more generous in letting this brush grab a little more water. And you can see right there. So I think this is the first time I'm using the brush for a shave. And this is the first time I'm using it with this particular shave soap. And you can see how much I look at how much I've got. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Boom! Lather! <laughs> 
Oh, wow. 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 That is fantastic. Uh, boy, I got more than enough here. My goodness. All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and just, all right, let that, let, let that, we're going to let that sit right over here like this. And I'm going to rinse out my hand, rinse my hands here a little bit. And we're going to get a nice hot towel. Let me wet the face just a little bit. Hang on. I'm going to wet the face. I like to wet my face just a little bit before I apply the hot towel. And boy, oh, boy, this is, this is fantastic. These hot towels. Oh, can you see that steam there? I just got to let that. Wow. <laughs> that is really, really hot. Okay. Ooh, 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 that's good. Man. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's marvelous. Okay, here we go. Boy, that's ter that is terrific. That is just a great, great start to the traditional wet shave. This is absolutely fantastic. My thanks again to Jamie Horn. I'm going to set this aside here and just use it to dry off my hands if needed. And we're going to use a little bit of the prickly pear star jelly pre-shave. I'm going to wet the face. We'll get to the shave. Nice warm water in the sink there. And I'm going to get a little bit like this. Let's rub it on my hands. Oh, that's all I need. That's great. That's great. I could probably back off on that a little bit. Wetting the face and then getting a little bit. It really spreads it around. Moves it around quite a bit. Yeah, that's terrific stuff. Let me just put the... Uh, lid on the jar here and set that aside out of the way and here we are with our lather let's just paint that on oh my gosh look at that okay the brush has some nice flow through uh painting it on the the the, the short quality of the handle is very different if you're used to a, a, a longer handle, this is definitely going to feel different for you. But look how much I'm able to paint on there. I have two days worth of beard growth, by the way. Forgot to mention that. My apologies. Wow, this is doing a great job of not only building a lather, but also giving me a lot of, of a nice painting action to where I can really paint this on and really locate it well on my skin, on the face. Really, really terrific. Got plenty in the bowl, plenty on the brush. I mean, I have more than enough here. Yeah, look at that. I mean, the Spearhead uh, shaving soaps lather up very, very well. Like them a lot. Again, I'm using the the hot towel here to dry off my hands. Okay. All right, here it is. We're all snugged up. We're all ready to go. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. Oh, yeah, that's good and hot. Love this handle. Love the love the the actual color scheme of of the razor. It just has a great vintage look. All right. Oh, that's good now. All right. Here we go. Thirty degrees. A light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is really nice and mild, yet very, very efficient. And look how the lather is moving away from the blade to give you a lot of nice positive blade exposure so you can get that extra swipe or two in. Mm. 
Very much reminds me of the Pearl Blaze razor head. Same kind of, uh, of quality of, uh, uh, same kind of quality and level of, uh, same mild quality and level of mildness, yet has really nice efficiency. Boy, that's, that's terrific. That really is a nice, nice, smooth, mild, very, very efficient shaving pass that I'm having. Ah, that's terrific. That, that really is. Two days worth of beard growth. It's really doing a nice job knocking it down. Very, very smooth. Now let's see how it does on the upper lip, underneath the nose and the nostrils, on the north to south with the grain pass. Seem to do very, very well uh, with getting the majority of those little bits up underneath the nostrils. We'll see. Let's rinse. Let's see where we're at. I am approaching socially acceptable shave area or territory. And uh, I think I got a good, uh, probably a good 80%, 85%, something like that. Definitely need some cleanup there. Definitely need some cleanup around the jawline. Uh, but boy, overall, a really, really nice first pass considering I have two days worth of beard growth. We're going to go ahead and uh, get some more lather and paint that on there. I have plenty in the bowl. And again, this brush does a wonderful job of painting it on. Really a different configuration in that this has a longer knot has a, some nice loft, so it has a nice full feel to it. See, I could just, just scrape that off there, and you've got I'm able to pinpoint where the lather goes very well with this brush. Did you see how I did that on the upper lip there? That's really nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Again, we have enough for a third pass right here like this. Let me just wipe my hands off because they're getting kind of slick from the spearhead that's for sure and I don't want the I don't want to drop that bowl all right uh here we go with pass number two we're going to go east to west across the grain Boy, it's a fantastic razor. This really is a very, very good razor. I like this. I like this a lot. And when I shave with a three-piece razor, I like to, you know, make sure everything's snug up, snugged up every once in a while. And it is. Everything seems to be in place. That's terrific. Again, look how the lather is moving out of the way. Really, really, really terrific shave. Nice. Very, very nice.
Boy, that's really, I, I just can't get over how nice and smooth that is. And again, it reminds me of the Pearl Blaze. Has a similar kind of shave. I'm wondering if it's the same razor head or not. I'll have to take a look at it by, uh, side by side. Won't do it now. I'll have to do it in a future video. Should have brought the Pearl Blaze in here to take a look at it side by side. My apologies. I'll try to do it down the road with another shave. Or maybe we'll do a, an update on the Monday morning mailbag. Love, love, love how maneuverable the razor head is uh, on that upper lip and uh, below the nostrils and the nose. Boy, did a nice job getting all those, all those little bits there. Really terrific. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's ter that's terrific. You know what? I'm the shave is done. I'm gonna do a third pass though. I mean, the shave is done. I think I'm in darn fine shave territory. Really, I mean, this is this is a nice shave. And what I'm gonna do is because I got a little bit of soap left here. See that? I got like a little bit of soap left in that pocket there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna. I've got enough there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just generate a little more lather here for my third pass. I'm gonna th throw some water on that brush there. And let's see how much more we can bring about here. The Shave Nation lathering bowl is great. This is a great feature. And look, look how much I'm getting here again. Kind of have, it's kind of a little bit of a soap in reserve. You know, you have it in reserve and you can just kind of just add a little water and just use your brush and just reach down into that little pocket there and grab some more soap and make some more lather. How about that? I also want to do a third pass to see what kind of feedback I'm going to get from my alum block. Look at that. And I love doing the third pass. I love, I, I really enjoy the third pass. To me, it's, it's the definition of, a, of using a safety razor that against the grain motion. I like that a lot. Okay. And again, the whole idea when you do the traditional wet shave is you don't want to get it in, you don't want to get, you don't want to shave down the beard in one fell swoop. You want to take it down in stages. You know, enjoy the process. Enjoy, enjoy the journey. All right, so here we go. We're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go uh, south to north against the grain. Oh, that's, that's delightful. That is really, really marvelous. Oh, that's great. And again, look, huh? And that is just marvelous. Boy, that's terrific. Now I'm riding the cap a little bit, uh, going against the grain on the corners of my on the corners of my mouth. Although it is mild, there is a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of tugging and pulling there if you're not too aware of how to handle the razor. So I'm riding the cap a little bit. And you can see right there, that'll close up. And that's kind of my fault, operator error. I didn't ride the cap enough. But that'll give you an idea 
of uh, the efficiency, uh, the aggression, so to speak, of the razor. You can see right there just a little bit. That's going to close up. You can see it's it's not overly mild. It has some nice efficiency. So if you're going to go against the grain in some areas, uh, like some delicate areas or some areas you have to be a little more aware of, like the corners of your mouth. In my case, that's where I have to be careful. Uh, I have to ride the cap on this razor a little more. Uh, again, I probably should have ridden the cap a little more in that area there. But uh, you know what? It's going to close up with some alum. It should be, it should be fine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do our, our last rinse here. That's the third pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a, that's a terrific shave. That is definitely a BBS shave. We're going to do our two final rinses, one warm, one cold. And again, we're going to keep an eye out on that area there. So, yeah, very, very smooth, very, very mild, but yeah, it's got, it's got a little bit, when you want it to have a little bit of growl, so to speak, it does, uh, depending on what kind of uh, pass you're doing against the grain, that sort of thing. But uh, that's nice. I like that. I like that quality of the razor because it's not overly mild. It does have some really, really good efficiency. All right, here's my warm water rinse. Boy, that's a, that's a nice close shave. That really is. I am going to flip it to the cold water side and we're going to do a cold water rinse. The cold water should close that up. That's very, very minor. And if it's not, I'll, I'll show you a styptic pencil or we'll, or we'll hold the alum block against it for 20 seconds. That's a tip a lot of viewers have shared with me. All right, cold water rinse. Okay, very nice. I splashed some extra cold water there to see if that helps close it up. Here is a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that was great. What a great shave. Really, really wonderful. That appears to be fine. Make sure I get all that lather off. Boy, <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice result. Yeah, that's marvelous. That's marvelous. All right, let's go ahead and get my Allen block. This is my Phoenix Shaving Allen block, the no-slip grip for the dry dock system. We're going to go ahead and uh, run this under some cold water and run it across the face and see what kind of feedback we get. I'm expecting a little bit of a zing on this guy right here. All right, here we go. Boy, I got some, yeah, I got some zinging. Let me tell you, that's close. Wow. Very smooth razor, got some zinging. I would say a handful. That's, ter that's terrific. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some feedback there. Yeah. That tells me it's very, very efficient. It is smooth. It's efficient. Yeah. <laughs> that's terrific. That's a terrific razor. That really is. It has a nice mild quality. It can be somewhat deceptive, I think. Well, that's terrific. Now let's just go ahead. You know what? It's closing up, but just to show you, you run this into some cold water and you hold it against your skin for about 20 seconds like this. 
Okay, so that's how you do it. I'm not going to do it for 20 seconds. But that's closing. That's There's nothing there. That's closing up. But again, uh, when uh, I go against the grain in some of those areas a little, little more tender, uh, ride the cap a little more. And uh, uh, lesson learned with this razor, it has that kind of level of efficiency where if I ride the cap, I overcome that kind of... Uh, I can I can overcome that delicate area. I can really kind of it'll really tame it and uh, really allow me to shave it away there a little more gently. Ah, uh, wow, that's terrific. Hey, let me show you the brush. Let's take a look at the brush and show you how much we have here. Look at that, that spearhead. Look at that. Wow, that's fantastic, huh? That's really fantastic. You know, let's clean the brush here a little bit before we do the aftershave. Show you how quickly this will clean up. And it, the knot impresses me as one that will clean up very, very quickly because of its length. Uh, you can get a good firm hold of the handle here, run it under some water, and then give it a few good shakes, and it's going to be clean. Now already, as I massage this knot a little bit here, the water that, uh, the soap has been removed already, and I'm seeing nothing but clear water coming out of the knot. So we'll just take it like this, and we'll just give it a few real real solid vigorous shakes here like that and look at that i didn't even towel it off yet look at that huh isn't that amazing that's marvelous wow look at that wow fantastic brush really 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 nice brush we'll talk about this as we wrap up a little more let's finish off with the C4th Sea Spice Lime right here. Let's wait, we have to shake this one up, I believe. Yeah, give it a few shakes there like that. And this is good stuff. This is really good, okay. Love that scent, absolutely love that scent. Fantastic. And for upstairs, I, I do need a head shave. We're going to use the uh, Sterling Lemon Chill. Just want to give it a few shakes to bring it down. And that's all I'm going to need right there. That's going to be more than enough. And it's got a great lemon scent. Oh, yeah. Great shave. Wow, this is a fantastic razor. An absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave brush. Now, the shave brush, uh, you can be a little more vigorous with it. That's what I found uh, during this shave. The shave brush, you can really, really, you know, as I was doing building a lather with it, I was really plunging it into that little bit of soap in that pocket there to pick it up and build a lather. And uh, also uh, added uh, a little more water to the brush than I would have with some other brushes. Uh, I think it's the length of the, uh, the, the, the knot that kind of threw me a little bit. Uh, so just, I, I put, instead of maybe putting in, dipping it into the water about this level here, I dipped it into the water this level here and let it really, really drink that water in. And as soon as I understood how to gauge that, boy, the lather exploded with this. Really nice and different feel from a shorter handle and a longer uh, length in the knot. Really different. And again, that really allowed me to get into the bowl, really push it in there and grab that soap and pick it up and build a lather. Looking forward to trying this with the Starry Night Lathering Bowl and also the Lathering Bowl from Paul Gruner. Starry Night from Beth Jones. Thank you, Beth. And the Paul Gruner Lathering Bowl, courtesy of viewer Jimmy V. So I'm looking forward to trying this brush with uh, those bowls because uh, it really does change up your lathering process a little bit because of this shorter handle and taller knot. At least that's what I have just found uh, initially. Yeah, it's really terrific, terrific uh, shading brush. I like it a lot. Now the razor, again, uh, very, very efficient, very, very smooth. Uh, this is closing up right here, not a problem at all. But again, it tells me that it, it, it's very smooth. It has some high efficiency. So when you're going to be shaving some of those more delicate areas, ride the cap a little bit because this does have a little bit of growl there. But it's very, very smooth. 
I have got a BBS shave here. No kidding. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really, really terrific, terrific shave. I enjoyed it. The handle did have some good functionality there. However, I was drying my hands off. So um, it'll be interesting to see how it performs if my hands are a little slicker without drying them off. However, when I'm doing the traditional wet shave, I'm going to dry my hands off as often as possible before I'm handling my razor. That's only common sense. But boy, a good looking razor, a great performing razor reminds me of the Pearl Blaze. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure if the angle of attack on this is 30 degrees or a little shallower. Like the Pearl Blaze, I'll have to have another shave and maybe talk to some other wet shavers who have this razor. But it, it, I, I tend to lean towards that the razor head is very, very similar to the Pearl Blaze in that regard. Regardless of uh, whether I was on 30 degrees or 26 degrees or somewhere in that ballpark, uh, I was able to find the correct shaving angle for the maximum efficient shave. It really did a wonderful job. Nice heft and weight. The razor did all the work. Really, really good balance. Uh, just looks great. Uh, just an overall terrific, terrific razor. My thanks to the folks at Pearl Shaving for allowing me to share this with all the viewers. Uh, really terrific. I'll have a link to this razor. Uh, and this handle in itself is worth the price of admission. I absolutely love this handle. It's got a great, great look to it. And the brush uh, absolutely did give me some great performance. Uh, I had to adjust a little bit, though, because of the taller knot, the shorter handle. That is really kind of foreign to me. It's the first time I've, I, I think it's the first time I've used a shaving brush that had this kind of... Uh, configuration with an, where the knot is longer or taller than the handle. But uh, boy, I really enjoyed using it. Enjoyed using both of these. I'll have links below. Two really, really well-made products uh, that really delivered a great shave. And I must add that the razor head stayed nice and snug throughout the shave. The fit and the precision of the blade of the, of the razor head uh, holding the blade very, very good. There's no slop or slippage in there at all. The alignment and the balance of the blade spot on. End tabs enclosing the razor head. Uh, really, just a terrific, terrific razor. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer and sell some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.